How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and my voice is a bit croaky that's because I've pretty much got a really bad cold and I'm recording this at pretty much 12 midnight. With that said there's a bunch of news I want to make you aware of, I want to talk about and some stuff that you should be able to take advantage of if you watch this first thing in the morning. We have Nightfall glitches, trials, factions, Eva returns, steps for dawning quest and my thoughts on the Black Armory. So let's get started. It seems with the Nightfall Challenge card, if you set it to max rank at 110 and equip Extinguish, Blackout and Match Game, you can get a 7.35 modifier. Now this is crazy right, you're 110 power levels below. If you actually go into the Nightfall Strike itself and start it, once the Nightfall kicks in, check your power level and you'll realise you're actually still 600 power and you are decimating everything. Obviously you don't need to do this, you can pretty much set it to max rank, have one of the bad modifiers on along with heavyweight for rockets and heavies and whatnot, and pretty much go at a 5.1 modifier rate. And the great thing is, even though you're 110 power levels below, you're still at 600 power. It's a glitch at the moment, it may be fixed by Tuesday, if you're going for that 100k points, this is your best way. Just killing a couple of enemies at the very beginning, as you can see here, has netted me for over 4,000 points. This is ridiculous. So make sure you take advantage of this before it's patched. Next, I want to talk about trials and factions, and it seems Bungie have confirmed that trials and factions will indeed be missing for Season 5 as well. They were missing in Season 4, and now in Season 5 because they still don't know what to do with them. Well, here's a suggestion, Bungie. Bring back Trials of Osiris with Elimination, whether it's 3v3 or 4v4. 3v3 would probably work better. Bring some of the old maps from Destiny 1 that were part of the Trials rotations. Perfect. Done. In terms of factions, return them to the way they were in D1. Provide a class item that gains XP, gains reputation, and provide the vendors with rotating weapons. Done. You see how simple this is? And it works, it worked in Destiny 1, it will work in Destiny 2. I don't know why this is so difficult, but please make it happen. Trials of Osiris was great, Trials of the Nine is garbage, it's just competitive playlist, and half of those competitive playlists, Showdown, Breakdown, whatever you want to call them, they don't fit with Trials of the Nine, they are a competitive playlist, not Trials. So please bring back the original Trials of Osiris, 3v3 elimination, and that will fix this problem. It's a shame that we won't be getting it for Season 5. Hopefully for Season 6 this will be coming. Otherwise, at this point, I don't think you'll ever be returning. And honestly, my fear is that the same applies to factions as well. At this point, they don't know what to do with it, and I think if they just returned it to the Destiny 1 method, it would just work fine. Faction rallies can still be a thing. Once every few weeks, you can have a faction rally where the factions are rallying against each other trying to get your support and the team that provides the most tokens or whatever the resource will be at the time will have the option to purchase cheap stuff. It's really easy, it's simple and it works. Hopefully Bungie you can get this done sooner rather than later. If you've not been living under a rock and you watched the trailer for the Black Armory you would have seen Eva Levante is indeed returning to Destiny 2. She's alive and kicking and it seems after the horrors that Amanda Holiday performed in last year's dawning event having given rise to the remove eververse campaign among others it seems eva levante has decided to take it on board again and this time host the dawning event we also have the quest steps for the dawning event with eva levante dawning eva's return as the quest is called has four quest steps the first one an old friend eva levante former guardian outfitter and now event vendor has returned to the tower after a long absence. Go welcome her back. So she'll no longer be sending you shaders or anything like that like she did in Destiny 1, including the emblems, which is a real shame because that was her trademark. Now everyone in Destiny 2 is just becoming this garbage NPC. What the hell, Bungie? Anyway, step number two. A friend in need. Eva Levante has given you the gift of her treasured family oven. Yes, it's a goddamn oven. Deal with it. Use it along with the ingredients she's given you to create a gift for Commander Zavala. 
well, maybe we can finally poison him and kill him. Even though he will come back, but as his ghost comes out, we can just kill his ghost, right? Step 3. Is a friend indeed. You've successfully used Eva's holiday oven to, to bake a batch of Galadoodles. Take them to Zavala in the tower courtyard. And finally, step 4. The grandmother's house we go. Now that we've delivered the Galadoodles to Zavala, return to Eva Levante in the tower bazaar. And this will hopefully take you to a new instance of some kind, so you can go exploring. I'm hoping it'll take us back to the Cosmodrome. Who knows? I doubt it. I don't think anything's going to come from this. But that's the quest steps. Hopefully you'll enjoy the event. There isn't much coming in the Black Armory, as you probably have guessed. But there you go. So what are we getting in Season of the Forge? Well, for free seasonal content updates, we're getting a power increase, which everyone with Forsaken will get. We're getting the Dawning event, which is open to all Destiny 2 players, Crimson Days, and Iron Banner, which are going to open to all Destiny 2 players. For the annual pass, we get Black Armory weapons and gear. We get Black Armory forges, four of them in fact. We get a new raid, Scourge of the Past. And finally, the exotic quest, The Last Word. So now we know what we're getting with the Black Armory. There are no strikes, there is no trials, there is no faction rallies, there is no story missions, there is no cinematic cutscenes other than the spoiler you've probably seen already and the introduction to the Black Armory itself. But all in all, in total, there is no formal story in this. I'm really, really worried about this. And I really hope it doesn't go the way of the Division, because that would really suck, because the Division truly did suck after the initial game. Story is paramount to Destiny 2, and story is paramount to everything that goes on. So I really hope that the Forges will actually live up to their expectations. I hope the raid will keep us busy longer than The Last Wish did, because as of right now, essentially all we're getting is four Forges, which are time-gated, and a raid. That is it. That is all we're getting for free for a month. Really hope. That the forges are going to be amazing, that they're going to be game changing, they're going to be revolutionary. I really hope they are. Just to recap, Nightfall Glitch, go get your 100k score. Trials and Factions are not coming for Season 5. Eva returns, Quest Steps in the video earlier. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remain Legend. <laughs>